What's up guys, David here from phonebluff.com and in this video I want to talk about the Tegra 3 processor and gaming on Android and how it differs from some of the other processors out in the market. In this case I'm using it on the Asus Nexus 7 tablet from Google which does have the Nvidia Tegra 3 processor with a 12 core GPU. Um, before I go into comparing it you know, uh, with other processors, let's open up this global application by Nvidia. Basically this application is made to show off the Tegra 3's graphics capabilities and you know you see all kinds of reflections shadows um, really good graphics over here and uh, everything just runs at a really nice frame rate and uh, you just kind of get an idea of you know what the Tegra 3 processor is capable of. I mean these are pretty much you know console quality graphics which is pretty amazing to have you know on your phone or on your tablet so the cool little split screen mode that you could actually enable which shows you you know what it looks like with all the effects enabled versus with the effects disabled which you know might happen depending on what kind of phone that you have or what kind of processor your device has so you could actually enable the uh, some of the effects if you want and still be able to notice the difference between you know the Tegra 3 version and maybe the regular version so anyway that's a quick little application you know thought I'd show you guys that if you guys have the Tegra 3 processor in your device I would recommend checking it out it's pretty cool but anyways, go ahead and look at, you know, what we really want to see, which is the difference that the Tegra 3 processor makes on the games on Android. You know, when you go into the Play Store and you uh, go to an application, for example, Shine Runner, which is the game I'm going to show you the difference uh, in graphics, it says, you know, Enhanced for Tegra 3 right here. Enhanced for Tegra 3, it says super detailed water and on-camera splash effects exclusively for Tegra 3 devices. So let's go ahead and check out, you know, what it looks like so I'm gonna go ahead and hit Shine Runner on this tablet. I'm gonna hit Shine Runner on my Samsung Galaxy S3, which has the Qualcomm S4 dual core processor. And obviously, it's not an NVIDIA processor, it's gonna look a little bit different. So, I'm not gonna be able to do it at the same time, I don't think. Let's see if I can zoom out a little. Nope. All right, um, I'll go ahead and play it on here really quick and then show you what it looks like on the uh, Tegra 3. So, as you can see, I mean, this game has really nice graphics regardless of you know what you're on. But, you know, I'll show you the difference in a second. I mean, I really can't say anything bad about it. Right now. It looks really nice to me. Um, when I first downloaded this application, you know, I thought it did look, you know, really nice. But anyway, uh, that should be a long enough little demo to give you an idea of what it looks like. Now, let's look at it on the Tegra 3. And uh, let's open up a map really quick. All right. So I'm just gonna point out the differences. So if you look at the water, the water's quality is a little bit better. You know, it looks a little bit more realistic. But you know, another effect that really sticks out at you is uh, when you jump on a ramp. If I could get up on this one, you get a little splash, and you can see the whole screen. You know, looks like it got wet. So pretty cool little effect. I mean, it's not you know a big deal, but it's nice little enhancements that you know game developers are adding to their games because the Tekken 3 processor could one handle it, and two, you know, the little effect does make a difference. Another example is Dead Trigger. So we'll go ahead and go into Dead Trigger uh, description over here on the Play Store about what it says for the Tegra 3. So it says supports extended effects on Tegra 3 devices. Let's see. Right here it says spectacular ragdoll effects, Tegra 3 only, water simulation, Tegra 3 only. So we'll see what that's all about. I'll go ahead and do the same thing. Open up Dead Trigger on here. Open up Dead Trigger on here, and uh, we'll see the difference. So this one, you know, it's not as noticeable. We kind of have to play a little bit longer. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to actually find, you know, a place in the map where it actually has water or things like that. But you know, I'll give it a shot. So, all right. So here's the non Tegra 3 version. Obviously, the graphics are still really good. I mean. Game developers are doing a great job. You know, the S4 processor in this case isn't a slouch by any means. Uh, definitely looks good. But let's see if I can walk around. You know, I wish I was able to get it in the same map, but well, this will just have to do. Basically, you know what? Let's look for the differences in here. So, okay, it looks like I'm going to have to shoot off these guys' heads really quick. All right, so here's some water right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and step on it, and you can see the screen, you know, kind of made this little like dripping effect. So, 
I'll walk through it again. And you know, just little things like that. You know, uh, when you're actually going through a map and there's like a puddle of water on the floor, it looks a little bit more realistic on the Tekken 3 devices, but nothing really huge. But just wanted to show you guys the difference between that. You know, I'm sure as game developers, you know, get you know more and more used to the Tekken 3 devices, they're gonna be able to take advantage of it much more. Um, a good way to actually look for applications that support the Tekken 3 processors is searching THD and then Tegra. So THD basically stands for like Tegra HD. Um, and then you type in the word Tegra alongside of it and you're pretty much going to get a list of applications that have been optimized for the Tegra 3 processor. It's a pretty cool way to get around it. Um, you know, this is how I found a lot of the games that are optimized for Tegra. So obviously Shadowgun, you know, Madfinger Games uh, makes their games Tegra 3 optimized and there's a few others and some of them look really, really nice. Obviously, you could also go to the Tegra Zone. I downloaded this on the tablet, you know, as soon as I pretty much got it. And, you know, you have your typical, you know, news that you'd get, but you could go to games and do certain little filters depending on what kind of game you want. But these are all Tega 3 games or Tega 2 games. So, pretty cool. Games like, you know, Max Payne obviously are going to support the Tegra processor. So, anyway, wanted to show you guys, you know, a little bit more about, you know, what the Tegra processor is all about and, you know, what it kind of offers you in the gaming world of on Android. So, if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions on, you know, the, how the Tegra 3, you know, experience is different from, you know, some of the other phones like the Galaxy S3 with the Qualcomm, maybe the Galaxy Nexus with the OMAP, whatever it is, leave them in the comment. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. All right, thank you for watching.